using Norton's theorem, find the current through RL in figure. We have to find current through this RL using Norton's theorem. Solution. Here we can see RL is equal to RL is equal to 4 ohm. Then for Norton's equivalent circuit, we have to find RN and IN. So first we will find RN. So to find to find RN, we have to remove this RL. Let's say this is terminal A and this is terminal B. So this will be our RN. And also we have to turn off all the sources. So here we can see this is a current source. So this will be open circuited. And this is a voltage source. So this will be short circuited. Now the resistance between A and B will be our RN. So here we can see this 5 ohm is open circuited. Also this 3 ohm is open circuited. So therefore Rn is equal to only 6 plus 3. 6 plus 3. So therefore Rn is equal to 9 ohm. Then next we have to find In. So to find In. To find In. We have to short circuit this RL. So this will be short circuited and this current will be IN. Now we have to find this IN. Let's say this is terminal A and this is terminal B. Let's say this is ground. We are using nodal analysis here to find the value of IN. Or we can use superposition theorem. So here we will use superposition theorem. Otherwise, this will be directly connected to ground. So we can use here superposition theorem. To find I n. We will use superposition theorem. So first we will consider consider this 26 volt voltage source and turn off turn off all other sources so here we can see if we turn off this current source so this will be open circuited and this will be current i n prime so from this we can find the value of i n prime i n prime is equal to This will be directly V by R. So V here is 26 divided by R. R is 6 plus 3 only because this 5 is open circuited also this 3 is open circuited. So R will be 6 plus 3. 6 plus 3. So therefore this will be 26 divided by 6 plus 3. So it is 2.889. 2.889 ampere this is the value for i n prime 2.889 ampere then next we have to find i n double prime so to find or directly we will say consider 6 ampere current source 
एंड टर्न ऑफ ऑल अदर सोर्सेस वेयर वी कैन सी दिस इज अ वोल्टेज सोर्स सो दिस विल बी शॉर्ट सर्किटेड वेन इट इज टर्न ऑफ एंड दिस विल बी आई एन डबल प्राइम नाउ आई एन डबल प्राइम विल बी वेयर वी कैन सी दिस सिक्स ओ होम एंड थ्री ओ होम आर कन आर शॉर्ट सर्किटेड सो इट्स वैल्यू विल बी जीरो डायरेक्टली सो देर फोर डायरेक्टली वी कैन से आई एन डबल प्राइम इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एम्पियर ओनली Now also here we can see the direction for I N double prime is downward. Also the direction for I N prime is downward. So from this we can say I N will be equal to I N prime. I N will be equal to I N prime plus I N double prime. Now the value for I N prime is we are doing addition here because the direction is same now the value for i n prime is 2.889 2.889 plus i n double prime is 6 so this will be 8. Point, 8.889 ampere this is the value for i n that is norton's current now we have the value for in rn and rl from this we can draw norton's equivalent circuit so for norton's equivalent circuit this will be our in and it is in parallel with rn so this will be rn and here this will be our rl This is R L. The value for I N is eight point eight eight nine ampere. The value for R N is nine ohm. And the value for R L is four ohm. Now we have to find this current I L. Again, here we can use current division rule so we can write by using first we will write this is a figure its name is norton's norton's equivalent circuit now by using by using current division rule by using current division rule i l is equal to this current that is 8.889 8.889 eight multiplied by parallel branch resistance that is 9 ohm divided by 9 plus 4 9 plus 4 so therefore i l will be equal to 8.889 multiplied by 9 divided by 9 plus 4 so it is 6.153 6.153 ampere is the value of il what we have to find we have to find using norton's theorem find the current through rl in figure we have to find current through this 4 ohm resistor so the current through this 4 ohm resistor is 6.153 ampere this is the final answer